Let's try to find out how we can find a write command on Linux operating system. If you want to find any command, you have to give this command man minus k and then the keyword with which you want to search the commands. For example, we want to check for list directory contents. You might be you might receive this error. Nothing appropriate has been found because the database for the man pages has not been updated so far so let's update the database first to update the database you have to give the command man db please note that you have to give this command only once just ignore the warnings and wait for the command to finish the command has finished Please note that do not worry about the warning messages that might be appearing during while you are running the command man db. You have to run this command only once. If I run this command again, before I run this command again, you can see that how many manual pages are added into the database. 7319 manual pages have, have been added if I when I ran this command for the first time. If I run this command Second time again, nothing will happen. No new entries will be added. Zero manual pages were added. Let's clear the screen by typing clear. Let's try to find out a command with which we can search for the, for the command that can help us to list the contents of the directories. For that we have to write man minus k and list directory. List directory is a keyword. As we can see that a lots of output is appearing here. We can write the keyword inside the quotes to see the effect. When we have written the keyword inside the quotes it has treated this as a single sentence and a small output has been has been has been shown if we'll write the keyword out without the quotes it will treat it will search for the list and for directory into different places so we have successfully found out the commands that might help us for listing the directory contents let's take ls as an example we know the command now how to use this command for that we have to open the man page for that particular command. You have to write man and then the name of the command man ls. From the synopsis you can know or you can understand how you can use this command. This command can be used by giving the name of the command, some of the options and then the file name if you want to specify. Or we can open a short help for that command ls minus minus help and we'll pipe the output with the more command so that if the output is long enough the output should be displayed into the pages we can scroll down the pages by pressing the enter or by pressing the space bar we can come out of the main pages or the help help page by pressing the q let's open the help again Right from the first line you can read the usage of this command. Let's run this command without any options. So we are able to find the command with which we can list the contents of the directories. Let's clear the screen by typing clear. Let's try to find out a command with which we can set up the host name of this machine. Let's look at the host name command. It says you can show or set the system's host name. And the second command looks like host name CTL. It controls the system's host name. Let's check both the commands one by one. Host name. First we'll take the help of the host name command. And then in the description section you can read what is the usage of this command and what is the purpose of this command. 
from the usage section you can understand how to run this command and what are the options that are required to run this command let's enter the command hostname the hostname command is displaying the hostname of the machine that was set during the installation let's check the second command that we noted with the help uh, with the search options hostname ctl let's take the help of this command this command can be used with some of the options and from any options from the command section let's give this command hostname ctl and from the command section we'll write status it it will display the host name of the machine that was set during the installation if we want to set a new host name for this machine we can use the host name ctl command with set host name option and then the name that we want to set for this machine let's try to set a host name for this machine host name ctl set host name Let's suppose that we want to set the host name of this machine to rhcsa8.example.local. Let's press enter. Check the host name of the machine again with both the commands. With the host name, it has displayed the new host name, and with the host name ctl, it has displayed the new host name. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.